right, YouTubers and reptile freaks. Uh, for this video, I'm going to give you guys a, a rundown on what I do for my cage paper and for the uh, it's substrate or whatever you want to call it in my cages. But what I do is I start off with uh, rolls of craft paper, and this is recycled craft paper, and I get it from eBay or Amazon. Uh, usually, you can find them on either website. Hit and miss for around uh, $30 to $45 a roll. And most of the time you can get free shipping. But what I do, uh, I start off with a roll. It's 36 inches wide. And the thickness uh, is it's a 60 pound basis. So basically, uh, the paper is six thousandths of an inch thick. So this roll here, I've got my uh, table saw set up to cut this roll down for my four foot cages or a T. Eight animal plastics cage and what I've done here is I've set up um, the saw where I've got a backstop that the, the roll of paper rests up against and then my fence is set at the width from the blade to the fence uh, for the exact depth of the cage so what I do here is uh, I set the roll in place I turn the saw on I run the blade up two or three inches and then as it's cutting I'll roll tape I'll roll rotate the roll and ring cut the roll so after I make one turn then I run the blade up even more and I'll cut it down so here we go So what I have left on this particular roll is the piece that will be for my four foot cage. And then the leftover, which is this roll, I'll cut this again. And what I'll use this piece for is for my 15 quart and 32 quart tubs in my racks. So, and I'll, I'll repeat the same process. So um, after this, then I'll take the roll into my basement and pull each sheet off individually and cut it and just break this whole roll down. Okay, so I've got uh, one of these rolls of paper set up on this on this roll or this paper stand, but um, the roll I cut on the, just a little bit ago was this roll here, and this one's uh, 21 and a half inches wide, which is uh, the depth of a four foot cage, and the roll I have on this stand is for my six foot cage, or six foot cages, and the width of this roll is 28 inches, which is the exact depth of the cage. So. Uh, the next part what I do is I've just uh, I've got this stand clamped down on my workbench or my work table and uh, I pull out the amount of the correct amount of length of paper that I need which is I think it's like 72 inches and it might be just under 72 so I've got a little I've got a little line marked out on the table and I take one of these uh, razor knives it's one of those razor knives that as it wears down, you just break the tip off and you get a fresh tip on there. So all I do is slide this along the edge of this stand. So, which on this one here, I took a, uh, uh, an aluminum ruler and screwed it there. That way I have a good uh, solid edge to run the, the blade up against versus the plywood that the whole assembly is mounted to. So I take that and slice it. So, so another thing when I, when I set this roll up on here, as, as I, uh, I feed the paper um, underneath and uh, there's a slight gap right along through here and the paper comes in between the plywood that the stand is mounted on and the stand itself. And so the reason I do that is uh, as it rolls underneath it kind of it, it folds the paper back the opposite direction that it's rolled up on this roll. So as I pull it out on the table it will help it lay flat because a lot of times if I don't do that. Um, as I cut the pieces, sometimes the paper will just roll back up. So it, the paper, will, it's kind of got like a memory to it. So once you lay it down on the table, it wants to, uh, 
roll back up just how it was on the on the roll taper. So we'll do a couple more here. So this roll of paper is 600 feet long, and um, I'll probably get, I'll get just under six, uh, 100 sheets because they're just under six foot. So I'll just keep doing this until the roll's gone, and then once I'm done with this one, then I'll set up my uh, four foot roll on here and do the same exact thing. Also on those cutoffs, I'll do the same thing. I'll cut the the, the extras that I have off this roll and for the four foot cage roll and I'll use those pieces for my six quart tubs, my 15 quart tubs and my 32 quart tubs. So, all right guys. All right guys, I've got this entire roll broken down into sheets now. So I've got around approximately 100 sheets. And so what I do next is um, I've got a little a rack or a hanger inside that one snake room that has all the six foot cages. And I just take this paper and put it on this hanger here. Flip this over. And this goes into that room. And I hang this up and as I clean cages, I pull paper from this stuff right here. So hope you enjoyed guys and we'll see you next time.